Sean Diddy Combs' homes in L.A. and Miami were raided by none other than Homeland Security. In connection with an investigation into human trafficking. That is some real serious stuff. In addition to this, Diddy's private jet has left Los Angeles and flown to the Caribbean. More on that in a minute. So, yesterday, well into the night, teams were teams of Homeland Security officers were at Diddy's homes in LA and on Star Island in Miami. And several people were actually seen in handcuffs and detained at the homes. I imagine that they were people that were either living or working there and the officers just needed them out of the way while they did their stuff, but who knows? Um, apparently electronics have been seized. We learned that today, as, as many might have uh, suspected. And a Homeland Security expert, Hal Kempfer, said that there have been allegations that Diddy had been drugging young women and that the agency is likely looking into the alleged crimes committed in multiple states. So let's look at the videos and then we'll give a little more context. So first, here is a shot of, I believe this is the home, in, yeah, this is the home in L.A., uh, with agents trying to get in the door. Here we go. It's happening. They must be so excited for things like this. Did he got rid of any proof? Yeah, we're going to see. So here we go. So these are the Homeland Security agents uh, coming in to Diddy's home in Los Angeles yesterday. Like I said, electronics were seized. Um, who knows what else? But you can see like this sprawling property, golf carts and everything. And multiple people were taken out of the house. I can show you that here. So here are two of the people that were taken out of the house. 50 Cent posted about it, of course. 50 Cent is, he's very much into the drama. Um, reports have claimed that the the two gentlemen who were, were moved from the home and handcuffed were Combs's sons, but that hasn't been confirmed yet. Often police will detain people in handcuffs. That doesn't mean that they've been arrested or that they're guilty of anything. So just a heads up on that. One more little piece about, about Diddy. This just happened nine, nine minutes ago. Uh, Diddy put out a statement, well his attorney put out a statement, there is no excuse for the excessive show of force and hostility exhibited by authorities or the way his children and employees were treated. So that is proof that Diddy's children were in the house when it was raided and very well may have been some of the people who were detained and cuffed on the lawn that we saw in photos. My thought is... If he is guilty, if he has done human trafficking things, you are the one who put your kids in danger by doing that shit out of your homes. Hang on. Wow. So many firearms. Do they really think that such... Listen, you think that Homeland Security officers weren't just excited to use all that stuff? They can't be performing that many raids. And they can't be performing that many raids on very, very wealthy, famous people. Okay, so let's get some background on what the F is going on. Diddy's problems started, well, they started when he started doing terrible things to women, but the exposure of his, his malfeasances <laughs> kicked off last year when, his, when Singer and longtime partner of Diddy sued him for years of physical, sexual, and emotional psychological abuse. Um, she she in in that lawsuit alleged that he made her have sex with other people, which is kind of trafficky, but it gets even worse. Um, after that, several other women came out um, from New York and sued Diddy for straight up sexual assault, beatings. Oh, thank you for following me while I'm talking about something so horrible. Um, 
So two, I think, I believe it was two other women sued him for sexual assault in the 90s, which included, again, beatings and forced druggings. Um, and sex trafficking, a huge piece of it is drugging people and taking them to a different location for the purpose of having sex. It doesn't have to necessarily be on the scale of Jeffrey Epstein, but who knows what's going on? Because is this about what happened in the 90s and they're trying to find evidence now? Is it newer stuff? Update to this developing story from Yahoo News. Combs is accused of preying on vulnerable women and also men and trafficking them with the help of his private jet and a Caribbean island property. Was it in Antigua? We will find out. So some of the people involved were identified as sex workers recruited at Miami strip clubs at Combs's urging. So, yeah, he was basically being another Jeffrey Epstein, allegedly. In addition to Cassie and the two other women from the 90s suing him, a male music producer came forward just this year, repeated, saying that while he was working for Diddy, there were repeated instances of unsolicited groping and sexual touching by the rapper. Um, it also said the man had to work in a bathroom while Combs showered and walked around naked. So this bit, the uh, the same sex bit, kind of corroborates what Cat Williams seemed to be alluding to in his interview with Shannon Sharp. If you haven't watched that, you definitely should. So now, so we have all of those little bits, and now we have a full-blown raid at two locations um, that Diddy owns. During the raid... Diddy's private jet left Los Angeles and flew to Antigua. Just going to let that hang for a second. I looked it up. He doesn't seem to own any property in Antigua. We now know someone owns a property that he was using in the Caribbean. But the plane is property. Um, apparently, he was not on board the plane. that He was seen in Miami the same day. That doesn't mean he didn't eventually end up in Antigua, but it's not clear. Also, Antigua has extradition agreements with the U.S., so it's not like a trying to flee um, and avoid or evade extradition. So in addition to flying to Antigua yesterday during the raid, his private plane had some very, uh, a very busy couple of days ahead of this raid. Apparently, the plane uh, made stops in various locales across California over the last couple weeks, maybe the last couple days. So what's with all the California stops? We don't know about that. Where was he going? Where did he land? Why was the plane there? Why did we need to move the plane? And what is in Antigua? These are the big questions that I still have that haven't been answered. This is obviously a developing story. Very much ongoing. So what we know now is the houses have been raided. The plane is in Antigua and it left during the raid. Diddy was last seen in Miami in like a customs office, but wasn't being, he wasn't in handcuffs or anything. And it's not clear where he went after that. So we will see what surfaces by next Monday, which is the next time I will be doing a live stream.